Okay, everyone. This is going to be my book review on a book by DJ Conway entitled uh, By Oak, Ash, and Thorn. As you can see, well, basically, this is the book right here. And it's the name. And it is a book on modern Celtic shamanism. I guess the reason I picked it up was because it was in the New Age section and sometimes if you go into certain stores this can be found in the Wicked section. And now that I've read it, I don't know why, but it's not a religious book. It, but being as a shamanism, apparently you can kind of apply that to any walk of life, whether you're Christian, pagan, or what have you. Uh, it's, and it's a really good book. Uh, I think uh, people could benefit from this, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it for any beginner. Uh, if you do degree systems in your tradition or your coven, this is probably more of a uh, second or third degree recommended reading it but I'd read it first before you went and recommended it uh, but it deals with shamanism and and while I'm not really familiar with a lot of different sh shamanism practices uh, I have studied a little bit under uh, the Native Americans and their beliefs and also, I've looked into a few Druidic books. Uh, I might have practiced that once or twice, but uh, it wasn't something that I was following. I was just, you know, it's better to go and try to practice something rather than just read it. But uh, for anyone who practices any type of Celtic Wicca, I would definitely read this. It's a good book and uh, it should go along with uh, all of your Celtic studies. Uh, I mean, it's not something you have to practice. I'm not saying go and get into shamanism, but it, this book by DJ Conway by Oak, Ash and Thorn is a really good and informative book pertaining to uh, the Celts. Some of you who pronounce that differently. Uh, also, if you ever read any books by John Matthews or John and Caitlin Matthews they're very informative as far as Celt history and things things of that nature go but uh, definitely give this a read uh, if you're into Celtic Wicca and I think you'll really enjoy it uh, there's a lot to do with meditation and uh, spiritual awareness and basically being at one with nature and one with yourself because what it's saying for shamanism is that you have to heal yourself and, and be at peace and at ease within yourself before you can go out and apply that to other people. Uh, definitely shamanism is something that some people in healing or who heal with crystals might want to get into. This touches on some color interpretation and something else I don't remember right now uh, there's no spells in here like I said this is not a religious book it's more of a spiritual awareness and spiritual heightening book. Uh, I don't even know why it doesn't have anything on herbs or herbology because it, I think it should so I'm going to give it a good rating right now and I'm going to see if I can in the future grab something that deals with Native American shamanism or uh, medicine man type stuff and, and see how that applies to this and whether or not this book is still 
worth of crap by then or if it's just really great I mean it might be crap by the time I read that stuff but as far as Celtic things go this is a really good book so check it out and uh, let me know what you think thanks a lot